Hi, I'm Eva Fernandez from Vaughan and today I'm talking to Bryony Johnston from Water Babies. Hi Bryony. Hi Eva. Thanks for coming in. So I've known of Water Babies for quite a few years now because you've been in Bristol for how many years? Twelve years. Twelve, okay. And I know that many of our customers book onto your Water Babies classes with their newborns for, as soon as they've had their babies or sometimes even before they've had the baby when they're pregnant. So why is it that people want to come to your, your swimming classes? Why is swimming so good for babies? Um, swimming is a fantastic activity for babies on many, many different levels. Um, when I started um, teaching babies 12 years ago, um, we started with about 120 babies and we now teach um, nearly 1,300 babies across Bristol, Bath and Western Supermare. And um, the benefits are absolutely huge. It, obviously, we are teaching the babies to swim, um, but actually the, the, the benefits are far, far wider than that. There's all sorts of social benefits in terms of introducing babies to other babies in classes and things like that. Um, there's all sorts of physical benefits in terms of teaching babies to swim. Um, it basically introduces babies to activity and exercise from a very, very early age, a little bit like um, what Kate was just talking about in terms of introducing um, people to a very good diet. Um, sort of childhood obesity um, in the UK is definitely on the increase, so actually if you can introduce a baby to um, an activity, whether or not it's swimming or you know, whatever it is from a very early age is, is really, really um, beneficial for them. There's all sorts of massive um, sort of developmental um, benefits um, to teach ba um, for teaching babies to swim as well. And there's something about the reflex as well. Can you tell us a bit about that? When, when so they can go underwater, can't they? When they're in the yeah, they can. I mean, it's very exciting, and a lot of ba a lot of parents actually book the babies on. Mm. Um, I think sometimes just because it's underwater and it's all quite sort of funky and things like that. Um, but um, babies are born with um, something called a gag reflex, which basically means that when the babies go underneath the water, they um, can naturally hold their breath. Um, but what we do, and this is really, really important, is rather than actually relying on that reflex, we actually teach the babies how to control their breathing. That basically empowers the baby and makes them feel much, much more confident, and they are in control in terms of when they're going under the water. Um, and it's really interesting. A lot of people have said to me over the years, "Oh, babies don't understand, and babies don't don't yet. You know, they can't follow instructions and everything." But we teach babies um, literally from sort of days old, and um, it is incredible through word association. So we would say the baby's name, ready, go pause and then put a bit of water over their baby's face, literally within um, within a month for some babies you can actually absolutely physically know that they have understood that command because they may well put their head back or, or sort of blink their eyes in recognition of that of that word and it's really really important that the babies do feel in control um, so that when you do take them under the water they have made that conscious choice to do that so we don't rely on the gag reflex and some babies actually have it to a greater or lesser extent anyway but it's very very important that, that the baby feels empowered to do um, to do the underwater swimming by themselves. So is that something that they keep with them forever, or you know, does it? They they yeah. do they do keep it with them forever, forever. Sorry, but um, as I said, we don't actually rely on that, and that's really yeah. important. It's a very important distinction between actually having a natural reflex, which um, which, which a baby may or may not have, but actually teaching the babies to hold to control their own breathing. That's very very important. Um, that sort of distinction. Mm. Great, and so with your groups, I mean, a lot of people go for the social aspect. How big yeah. are the groups? And it depends on the size of the pool. Yeah. So we teach in various pools across the area, and um, some of our classes are, are sort of six because they're very small pools. Um, one of the pool, Penny Pool, actually in Hembury, is a bit like a big bath in somebody's sitting room, actually. It's quite mm. funny, but it, it works very, very well for very, very small babies. Um, and then our groups go up to ten. And they're special pools, aren't they? They're all special pools. So, and the other really important thing in terms of um, taking your babies to swim, you know, whether or not it's with water babies or doing it, um, you know, yourselves, is the temperature of the water. Mm. So, babies under three months old or under twelve months, uh, sorry, twelve pounds, have to go to a pool that's um, heated to thirty-two degrees and above. Right. It's very, very important. Babies can't regulate their body temperature, um, so that the temperature of the water is absolutely key. Um, that the highest temperature is thirty-six degrees, which is a little. Bit like being in a big bath. That's body temperature. It's body isn't temperature. It? It's like mm. being in a bath. But I think it's very, it's a very swimming is a very natural activity um, for babies. If you um, think about it, they've been suspended in, in sort of amniotic fluid mm. for nine months, and so actually for them to be in water as opposed to on land is actually probably a more of a natural state for them to be in anyway. Yeah. So they feel they feel. 
confident and, confident and safe and yeah. warm and things like that and, and actually the parents really like the warm water as well. Mm. Yeah, well I'd like to, it's like have, having a, a hot tub, isn't absolutely, it? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So for, for dads as well, a lot of dads take their babies to the yeah. classes, don't they? What are the benefits for They do, for and dads? I think it's a really lovely activity um, to, for dads to do. I think, you know, a lot of sort of um, bringing up babies when they're very little is often geared towards the, um, the mum, and I think for a dad to actually go, I think it really empowers a parent, whether or not it's, it, it, it's the mum or the dad. I think um, having a baby is quite hard, mm -hmm. and I think um, it, it's an activity that is quite hard. You know, you have to change yourself, you have to change the baby, you have to do all sorts of things it's also you're taking the babies under the water so sometimes it can feel quite unnatural but because of the classes and because of the structure and because our teachers are so professional and so fantastic at what they do they really empower the parents to feel really really confident and safe in, in, in the knowledge that they know that they are in extremely good hands mm -hmm. um, we teach a lot of dads and we really really encourage dads to come with um, to come with their baby it's it's obviously very good skin to skin contact mm -hmm. um, and, and I think, you know, dads, are, I think they find it a really lovely sociable activity to do and it's a chance for them to meet other dads as well. Yeah. So how, how long do people do a course for? Is it just a course or can they do many classes after that? They can do many, many classes. I mean, we teach um, basically babies from naught up to yeah. the age of four years old. And um, some people just do the baby program, right. which is a 50-week core baby program. Mm -hmm. um, some people literally go up until um, you know the children are swimming at sort of three, three and a half years old. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have extremely early swimmers. The whole premise of Water Babies is about teaching you to teach your baby to swim. So we're really, really keen to um, help and, and empower the parents again to actually give them practices and activities that they can do so that they can take their baby swimming outside of the classes. So not only are they learning within the class, but they're also um, being given instructions in, in terms of um, taking them swimming outside of the classes. And to be honest, if you do a water babies class and you then, um, you know, make sort of make the time to take um, children swimming outside, you, you will get a very, very early swimmer. And we have some of our swimmers are three, three and a half years old, which is incredibly, incredibly early. Mm -hmm. So if anyone's interested in doing this, as long as their child is under four, they can... Under four, yeah. I go. mean, we generally take babies um, under one year old, mm. um, just because we do, uh, as I say, we do teach them underwater, not all the time, and, and I think people get very excited about the underwater stuff, but that's probably 10% of an actual class. Yeah. That a lot of the class is, is on top of the water. Right. Um, but yeah, so we generally take babies under one just because they are they tend to be a little bit more comfortable under the water from, from a slightly earlier age. Yeah. But if a child has been swimming, so if a toddler has been swimming outside of our classes and they want to um, join the water babies class, that's absolutely fine. We, what we would do is we would try and um, book them into sort of almost like a trial session mm -hmm. just to make sure that they were going to um, be suitable, um, you know, for the child's benefit. And then, um, and then you know, fingers crossed, we will we'll find a suitable class and then they can stay with us until they're four. So if people want to book a trial session to just find out about it and give it a go, they can contact you via the yeah, office? Yeah, they can contact us via um, the website which is um, waterbabies.co.uk or they can phone 0117-946-6919. And you, like you said, there's classes all, all through the week and yeah. weekends as well? Yeah, so do? we do, um, so that you know we can sort of cater for, you know, lot, obviously lots of families are now mm -hmm. working so both parents are working so that we can cater for that we do evening classes weekend classes literally seven days a week across the week we do um, four ten week terms a year mostly following the sort of school holidays um, the, the school terms yeah. and all over Bristol like you said, all, and all and over and Bristol Bath well. and Bath and Western Supermare yes Great. thank you very yeah. much Brian for pleasure coming. thank you very much for inviting me yeah.